Friends and family members of 17-year-old Yavion Anderson held a vigil for the teen today in Brook Park. He drowned over the weekend after jumping at a water-filled quarry at an old mine site in Independence. That former mining site is gated and marked with no trespassing signs. But News 5's Jesse Schultz talked to Anderson's mother, who found that's not the only way onto the property. She says more should be done to prevent another tragic accident. This fence here marks the entrance to the old mine site. Now the signs here are clear, no trespassing and do not enter. But beyond this fence, there's roughly 100 acres of land. But Yavion Anderson's mom says that these signs just aren't enough. <laughs> he touched my heart. Federica Bloxen says her son Yavion Anderson was a beautiful soul. He's loved for many reasons. That love for him evident through the pain of hundreds who came together for a vigil to honor his life Tuesday night. Rest in peace, baby. Officials say 17 year old Anderson and friends went to the old Haydite mine site in Independence Saturday. The teens went swimming in a water filled quarry on the land. But after Anderson jumped in, he never resurfaced. A rescue team found his body hours later. My son's life. Let's prevent another one from being lost. Bloxon knows her son's death was an accident, but says without enough proper signage, the quarry and vacant land is dangerous. And she says there's multiple ways to get onto the property besides the main gated in fence. Up here is literally where my son was found. She knows this because she went in herself just days after Anderson's death, providing us with the video she took. And it is unsafe, not for my child that passed, but for any child that can get back here. Look, come walk with me. This is crazy. Let's go find the signs they say was everywhere. Oh, by the way, graffiti. So y'all know people come out here. She says where she went in, there was not a no trespassing sign. I just picked a rental spot and walked in, and now I'm here. To a lake. Of course, teens is going to be drawn to this. It's so easy to get in. Look at this. Look how dangerous this is. I lost, I lost my child. How many more children are going to find this place? In the video, Bloxon found multiple ways to get onto the property. No signs anywhere. Oh, you just pushed it right open. Wow. She said there needs to be a change so no one else loses a life. Make it to where we block it off so no one can ever get back there and we'll lose another life. Reporting in Independence, Jesse Schultz, News 5. All right, thanks, Jesse. And West Creek Conservancy took over that land after the mine closed, and News 5 reached out to them about the signage in and around the property, and they agreed to provide a statement, but we haven't heard back yet.